What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder, and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a video for you guys today. Today, we have ourselves an Origin Form Garatina team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously guys, your support is unreal. Thank you guys so much for all the likes, all the views on the channel, and anybody who subscribes to the channel. It really does go a long way. You guys have no idea. But shout out to my boy Joe for dropping this team. He hit me up in my Instagram DMs. He was like, yo, Jeans, I got yourself a team that you haven't tried out before. You never tried out Garatina in origin form. So here you go. Check this one out. See if you'd like it. And I was like, yo. This team's looking fire. Let's give it a run and try to record with it. So shout out to you, Joe. Thanks once again for dropping this team. But rocking out in that top left spot, we're getting started with Origin Form Garatina. He has the Levitate ability and the Grecious Orb. I think I pronounced it right. Not sure. Don't dog me in the comment section down below if I pronounce it wrong. But he has that orb as his item, which boosts Dragon and Ghost-type moves when Garatina is holding that. And it makes him change form. So that's why he's holding that item. We have Shadow Ball and Draco Meteor, both for stat moves. Earth Power for our coverage and Protect as our final move. Right next to him, we have Screen's Grim Snarl with the Light Clay and Prankster ability. Light Screen Reflect, Scary Face, and Sucker Punch. We can Sucker Punch proc with this policy for our Metagross. We'll get to that a little bit later. And we can have that for first turn prior priority. We also have Scary Face lower speed for the opposing Pokemon. And then, like I said, Screen's to make our team a lot more bulkier. Middle left, we have Entei with the Inner Focus right there. I love that ability, especially in this meta right here with Intimidates and uh, Fake Outs. It just works so well. We also have the Assault Vest, so he gets a little bit more bulkier up against Special Attacking Pokemon. And then we have Sacred Fire, Extreme Speed, Bulldoze, and Snarl. And Bulldoze is actually going to work very, very well up alongside with Garatina, considering we have Levitate. We can Speed Control with him because he won't get hit by it, slow down the other Pokemon. And we can also Snarl with him and drop Special Attack. Middle right, we have Metagross, who is a very, very strong Pokemon. He's going to be thriving out with this team. He has a clear body, so his stats can't be changed. And the weakness policy, and like I said a little bit back, that we can actually uh, proc its policy with the Sucker Punch from the Grimmsnarl. We have Iron Head, Stomping Tantrum, Ice Punch, and Protect. This Pokemon's phenomenal. You guys already know how much of a beast it is. Bottom left corner, we have Regilecki. Awesome Mon right here. Very, very fast. Can control battles a lot, especially with this moveset right here. We have Electro Web to actually slow down speed and get speed control. We have Eerie Impulse to drop special attack by two stages each time we use it. Thunderbolt for our stab attacking move and Protect as our final move. Then our final Pokemon is going to be Landorus with the Intimidate and Life Orb over here. He has EQ and Fly both for stab, Rock Slide for coverage, and Protect as our final move. And we can also go into EQ whenever we want when he's paired up with the Garatina because we have that Levitate ability. So there's, nice, there's some nice team synergy around Garatina's Levitate ability with this team. But guys, if you want to try out this team, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder and try to get some wins with this Origin Form Garatina team. I wanted to go over a few things before we got started with the battles today. So first of all, if you guys see me miss an upload during the week or a certain day, just know I am super, super busy right now. I'll go over my schedule and let you guys know how busy I am just in a little bit after we pick the teams. And guys, second thing, let me know for question of the day, what type of music do you guys listen to? Considering I was just jamming out to some EDM music right before I was recording here and it just popped in my head. Like, I want to know what kind of music you guys listen to. Personally, I listen to every type of music. Like, it depends what mood I am. Like, summertime, I'm listening to country. Like, if I'm at the gym, I'll listen listen to rap, I listen to whatever, anything resonates with me, I listen to punk rock, some uh, classic rock, like anything, alternative, legit, I have like a playlist for every single genre, but definitely let me know what kind of music you guys listen to, because I would love to know in the comment section down below, but going up in our first battle, this guy has a colossal team, and he, okay, I was going to say, can't even proc the steam engine, but he can, uh, Dragapult learn surf, so he could lead that, he can go after that, I kind of maybe want to go speed control here, I might want to go Garatina slow down everybody, that could be a play. That can be a play. Go Garatina and maybe into Regilecki. I could go Regilecki and just get that speed control down. Or I can go Entei. Or I can set up screens. Uh, we're going to go Regilecki here. I'm going to bring you. And then I think in the final spot, we're going to go Metagross as our final Pokemon. I think that works pretty, pretty well. Considering I was going to go Entei, but then I realized he has so many physical attackers on this team. So it could be really, really tough. But yeah, I really want uh, to do good in this uh, video today. I'm feeling real good. It is Sunday for me, so this video will be going out on a Monday, and Sunday is my break day. So I absolutely love Sundays. I get to sleep in a little bit. I get to just do me and just relax all day long. Because like I said, I'm super, super busy right now. But he goes Colossal and Moltres, which can he proxy mention? I don't think so. Maybe he can. I don't really ever see it. But we're going to go Garatina, who looks amazing in this form, and Regilecki. But my schedule has legit been, like, crazy. I've been waking up early to record for you guys. I've been waking up around like 8-ish, 8.30-ish to record for you guys. And then after I get done recording, I go to the gym. And now my summer job summer job started up. So then after I get done the gym, I'm 
I'm at my summer job, and then I'm there till like six, seven ish, get done, and then I'm come home, and then I have to uh, edit a little bit more and do some other things, and I still have school on top of that. So, like I said, if I miss an upload, just know I'm super, super busy right now. But I think I'm gonna Dynamax here, and actually uh, drop this Max Quake, just for the sheer fact we get that uh, special defense boost. And I can E Web. Actually, I'm gonna Eerie Impulse. Actually, mm, I'm gonna slow down. Actually, I am gonna Eerie Impulse. I know it's Dark Type. I, that's why I thought I was like, he's Dark Type. I can't really practice him. And he's gonna witch all the Moltres. You're gonna bring in a uh, Dragapult. He's gonna bring in Dragapult. So I don't get why he did that. Maybe trying to bait a move from me. So your Impulse is gonna, isn't gonna do anything here. Cause actually, this thing is special attacking, right? I mean, technically it, it is. It's just gonna make it do less damage to that Colossal. But I don't see Colossal Dynamax. I can see Colossal protecting here. And in that case, I'll E Web it up. I wish I e webbed this turn. Oh, no, big old, big time turns. But he is going to protect. But he is going to protect here, which is totally fine. And Eerie Impulse can come out here, and this thing's clear body. So, no stat changes. Max Quake coming out here. And we are going to get a special defense boost, but I don't really see what that's going to do too much for us. Considering uh, Klaus is going to be physical attacking. Okay, but the big thing is here. If I go into an e web, can I outspeed this Colossal? There's possibility. And there goes his policy. So he might not even surf now, which could be nice. But I can see him swapping. I can totally see him swapping. What do I want to go into? I'm going to go into Wormwind, just in case he swaps. Because I can see him swap and think I'm going into another Max Quake. I'm going to drop that, and I am going to drop an E-Web just to get the uh, the speed drop on the Colossal, in case he procs uh, Steam Engine. Let's just see what he does. I'm guessing Moltres has the Life Orb, if I had to guess. And he is going to end up Dynamaxing. He is going to end up Dynamaxing trying to get after my Pokemon. But I know Steam Engine will put him at plus 6. And I think Regilecki should outspeed all these Pokemon first. So he'll be at plus five, and maybe Garatina can outspeed him at that point. Because Colossal's generally very, very slow. That's why the speed boost uh, really helps him out. Let's see what happens. And I, I know if we e webbed the turn before, we would have been thriving. Dragapult avoid attack, that's totally fine. We're kind of just looking to get it on that Colossal slot. There's that stat. Drop the speed. And he's going to be able to. Oh, he's light screening. Uh, we should be fine here. We should be fine. We should outspeed him, no problem. And we should be able to pick up the KO. Right? We should be fine here. Get him out of here. Ouch, man. Ouch. That one really hurts. That one really hurts. We do get an attack drop, though, which is nice. So he's only plus one. And he's going to drop a Volklith. Maybe on my Regilecki. Hopefully on my Regilecki. That'd be good. Let's see. Now he drops on Garatina. And... Mwah. That thing's bulking up. That thing's bulky, man. He's super bulky. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. The Volklith damage is going to go through. And that thing has uh, the screens up. So, uh, in that case, uh, actually, that's why Regilecki did so much damage. I am going to Wormwind again, and I am going to Wormwind over into the Colossal slot. Actually, no, an E-Web should be able to take him out. Actually, I'd rather just Thunderbolt at this point. Thunderbolt should be able to KO you. So, I am going to drop a Wormwind right over onto you. And I think a Thunderbolt should be totally fine to take out this Colossal. Even with that Light Screen. He's going to guard. Nice. He drops a guard. Thunderbolt's gonna come through. I'm digging it. I'm totally fine with these turns right here. And Willow, hey, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? He drops a Willow Wisp on me. But I believe we're aren't we special attacking? Yeah, we're special attacking. So Dragapult, out my face. That burn's not doing anything to us. Get him out of here. Drops a burn on me like that. Get out my face. We're gonna get another attack drop for him. So he's back to normal. That weakness policy did nothing. And do we have one more turn? No, we're out of turns for a Dynamax. We're out of turns for a Dynamax, but I think we're totally fine here. I think we're sitting really, really good here. Garatina is taking a lot of chip damage from the bulk with and the burn. But whoever he throws out, I'm just going to E-Web, slow him down, try to get speed control for this battle. Because right now, my Regilecki's fastest, which is awesome. But I'm, I'm just a little confused, too, as why he, uh, why he went into the, uh, the what's it called? The Moltres in turn one and set over the Dragapult. But it's all good. Um, I think I'm going to double up into you. Just in case this E-Web... Actually, I don't want to go for an Earth Power if that's the case. I'd rather go for a Shadow Ball or Draco Meteor. Draco Meteor could be really, really good. 
Just do as much damage before I go out. Or I can always protect. Which I am going to do. I think I'm going to drop protect here. And I think I'm just going to E-Web and slow down. It's going to be play. Try to waste out these Dynamax. Moltres ends up protecting. That's awesome. I'm going to protect here as well. That's totally fine by me. We're just seeing double protects, baby. You're seeing double protects. E-Web coming out. And guys, I actually might have something uh, coming out decently big for you guys. Can this take out? It does. Lovely. It does end up taking out. But I might have something decently big coming out here. Uh, some brand hit me up and wants to do a sponsorship. And it's a really cool clothing brand. So hopefully this goes through. And I can give you guys more details about it later. Because the clothing brand is fire. I was looking at its website and everything. And it fits my style. I feel like it would fit your guys' style too. So hopefully everything goes through. And I can tell you guys more about it later. It would be awesome. It would really be awesome. Because I can get you guys discounts and all that. But seriously, I was like just looking over the website and the clothing is so dope. It's like something you can wear out and about like when you're hanging out with the boys, going to parties and all that stuff or just chilling at the house, working out. Like, dude, everything about it is dope. So I'll keep you guys posted in the future and I'm very excited for everything that that could be happening with this. But he ends up sending Urshifu and I think I might just Draco Meteor at this point and get some speed control. Who do I think is a bigger threat? Urshifu or that uh, Moltres? I'm thinking the Urshifu is going to be the bigger threat. I'm definitely going to slow them down. And I am going to drop a Draco Meteor onto the uh, onto the Urshifu slot. Urshifu might protect here. I'm going to E-Web all around. Just try to get some speed control here. I know Moltres doesn't have the policy considering uh, Colossal already had it. But awesome. Doing some lovely stuff. Is that the water Urshifu or is that thing just that not bulky? That might be water. No, it's not water. It's not normal. But Draco Meteor can come through here. Take out the Urshifu, and we're thriving in battle number one. Yo, this team's looking real good. It's looking real good. My man Joe built us a beast of a team. But we're basically taking out Garatine here when we use the Draco Meteor. That's why I usually like save it to the end, because we get that stats dropped like crazy. But he was Fiery Wrathing us anyway, and taking out both of our Pokemon, which is totally fine. These boys did a lot of work. They've been in here since turn one. Since turn one, he was grinding out here, doing absolute work. But Moltres down to half health, and we got two beast of pokemon that's landers should be faster anyway with this speed drop maybe metagross too maybe not metagross because metagross is a little bit on the slower side but he's still a beast he's gonna be able to eat up whatever he has and i can see this guy just canceling out this battle and giving jeans victory in battle number one he's our first victim for today's video our first victims right here him and a comes out does nothing but like i said it don't matter but i love landers is his design how he has like clouds on his feet to float i think that's such a cool thing Let's drop a rock slide, and I'm just going to drop it an ice punch. Get that super effective damage. Let's run it. Rock slide. Oh, it misses. Oh, God. Oh, God. Of course it misses. Should be able to pick up a KO here, right? Yep. Ice punch comes through from the Metagross, and we catch ourselves a victory in battle number one. We can get started 1-0 and, oh, and hop into our second battle. Hopping into our second battle for today's video, this guy has a Solgaleo team alongside with Sableye, Charizard, Rhyperior, Hydreigon. I love that Pokemon. Hydreigon, haven't used him in forever. He was a big part of the meta, I feel like a little bit back, but haven't really seen him since uh, new Pokemon started coming out, especially when the first DLC came out. And then the final spot goes to Rotom right here. But this guy has a decently strong team he can go into with Trick Room, and, or he can uh, get that Charizard rolling and uh, rock out with that Sableye. And he has Solgaleo, and that's a big threat as well. Um... I think Lando might be your Dynamax Mon here. He just does absolute work all around. I might just lead him. I think I'm going to lead Screen Scrimsnarl and maybe lead him. Or I can go Metagross and uh, Dynamax him and Proc Policy. That is also a play. I can protect first turn and just see what's happening and roll from there. But I do have Ice. I do have a lot to offer here. I do have a lot to do. Hmm. I'm kind of digging it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually lead the Metagross. I'm going to bring uh, Origin Form Garatine in the back end. And then in the final spot, do I go with Lando? There's a lot of special attackers. But I honestly might go Entei. I think Entei with that Assault Fest is going to come up bigger. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that a lot. But back onto the topic for question of the day about how, like, uh, what type of music you guys listen to. I'll give you guys a little, like, a little taste of what I listen to. Before this, I was actually listening to, uh, it's called Funny by Zed. Such a good song. It is such a good song. Look it up. You guys can jam out to it. All instances. You guys can, like, just jam out to it in your room. You guys can work out to it. It's a car jam. It's like EDM. It's like techno-y. It's so good. It's so good. Definitely check out that song. 
if you guys are interested interested in what type of music i kind of like to listen to but also let me know in the uh, comment section down below like what other things would you guys like to know about me maybe i'll use them for question of the day in a, in a new video coming up soon just so you guys uh get to know me a little bit more and i get to know you guys a little bit more because you guys know i like to do that and bro I just got freaked out there. I didn't see the Sableye behind my Metagross. I thought he just threw out Charizard. <laughs> I was like, wait, what just happened? But he goes with these two, and I'm going to just set up a Lich Fiend. Uh, honestly, my Protect. Hmm. He's going to pick me out. I'm going to Protect you. I'm going to Protect you. He might pick out my Grimstone. Let's see what he does. Hopefully, he picks out on my Metagross slot. He can drop a Sunny Day. Which he'll probably do. He'll probably uh, go for a sunny day here. Try to get a foyer rolling. But I'm going to set up a light screen here. And I might not even proc policy. I might just... Hmm. I might just... Uh, they might Dynamax. And try to waste this one out. Now he leaves Charizard. I wish I had my Landorus. It's like a back-end Pokemon. Charizard's going to protect. We're going to see... This is actually a great turn for us. I dig this turn. I really do dig this turn. I'm going to Dynamax after this. Um... I might not even sucker punch. Big Cat's gonna come through. And yes, yo, it goes towards my Metagross. So he wastes his turn. We get off a free Light Screen, which is beautiful. It is beautiful, baby. Light Screen is up. We're starting to bulk up. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to slow Charizard down. And I'm going to. Uh, but I just punched my Iron Head. I might, I, might, I might go with this. I definitely want to Dynamax and get something rolling. I think we're going to get some stab damage. I might get after Sableye. What do I want to do here? I got my Hailstorm. I'm going to Hailstorm because I know Sableye is probably Sash. I would love to go get like another turn, but I'm definitely slowing down this Charizard. So we're Dynamax and he's not. But I probably could have just Sucker Punched this turn. I probably could have Sucker Punched, but I'm, I was predicting uh, him Dynamax and that Charizard trying to get after my Metagross. But I can see him maybe dropping like a heat wave and proccing the policy on a, on his own terms. Let's see what's happening here. So scary face coming up big. I don't, I don't really ever use scary face, but it actually came came up perfectly here. Scary face, lower net speed, minus two stages, which is big. That's big. That's like an opposite of a tailwind. Speed harshly falls. Sableye's gonna drop a sunny day here, and I think he's gonna proc my policy, which I'm fine with. Which I'm totally fine with. Happens here, and now Metagross does out speed, which is dandy. And we're gonna take over weather, so his heat wave or whatever he's trying to drop is gonna do less damage. That's beautiful, loves it. He's definitely dropping a fire move, so he's gonna be probably be proccing our policy. We didn't even have to do it. I can sucker punch next turn. Heat wave comes through, Grimstone on voice attack. That's okay. I wanted to hit my Metagross. Metagross eats, bulks it up, and policy is now proc. Yo, I'm liking what we're doing, we're thriving here. <laughs> We're looking real good right now. Looking real zesty. I think a Sucker Punch should be able to take out Charizard. Uh, most importantly, that uh, Sableye does take a Buffet. So its Sash does go away. Lovely. Get him out of here. Take your Sash off. But yeah, Sucker Punch coming through. And I am going to take out the Sableye as well with a uh, Steel Spike. I probably should have went into a Quake. Because Quake probably would have taken out. And he has uh, more physical attackers. Or not physical. More special attackers. That could have been a little bit better. But I'm with this. I'm with this lot because like I said I think we take out both these Pokemon here and then we have a light screen up I can scary face and get that speed control once again which is huge Tech punch comes through hey. get him out of here take him out hey Charizard out my face done with you done with you dude's gonna quash me but sucker punch came out so my move was postponed the quash didn't go his way he was trying to quash and get off like another heat wave or something but sucker punch came out first that was actually a smart turn. I remember when I used to use a Quasha Sableye, and it was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. It was so strong back in the day. I would rock out Quasha. I think I was using, like, a Vileplume team. I would Quash it, and then, like, I could just Sleep Powder instantly and just get rolling and keep Quashing. Because what Quash actually allows you to do, it's actually a funny word, too. But what it allows you to do is, uh, is it makes that Pokemon go last. So if they have a really fast Pokemon, you just Quash it up and roll from there. But it goes Rotom and Solgaleo here. Is... So Galio might be physical. I don't want to slow him down though. No, he has full uh he has the full armor thing. I'm gonna set up a reflect. He might be physical. And I'm gonna drop this quake. I know I can't hit this Rotom with it because uh we have levitate. 
Let's just see. Let's just see what happens here. Like I said, he he's gonna die next year. This is last option. It's gotta be Solgalia, right? No way it's gonna be that Rotom. Actually, I'm hoping it's a Rotom. I really do hope it's a Rotom. Man, it's not. Of course it's not. We Dynamax this boy. And we're gonna be able to get off every fight. I don't know if he's physical or special. I, I totally forget. I can see him being physical. And he's gonna guard. A smart guard from him. That was actually a really smart guard. But Flux gonna come out here. Um, I think I'm just gonna scary face and lower the uh, Rotom speed. Will the Wisp coming out here? Oh, yo, nice play. I'll give it to him. Round of applause. Round of applause. Even though I'm not clapping, I'll just say round of applause. <laughs> Buffett is going to take some damage from them. Um, but we're going to waste out two turns from him. I feel like we should be fine. He's probably policied, to be honest with you guys. If I had to guess. He's got to be policy, right? If I had to guess, he's got he's to be that. Um, I think I'm just going to scary face. I really don't want to... I really don't want to uh, crack the thing's policy while it's Dynamax. I think I'm just going to drop an Iron Head. That might be my best bet. I think we're just going to drop an Iron Head onto this Rotom. But I feel like Sogalia is going to take out my Metagross. He's going to say, Metagross, get out of here. Or if he was smart, he would leave my Metagross in and take out my Grimstone, considering we're burned. But still, we're policy proxy. We could still do a decent amount of damage. Scary face coming out here. We're just gonna try to take speed control for our next Pokemon. He's gonna drop. He's gonna go for his steel spell. He is gonna take out my Grimsnarl. Just fine. And Grimsnarl eats, yo. We wasted all of his Dynamax turns. This is huge. Screens are making us real bulky. This is why I absolutely love uh, rocking Grimsnarl with Light Clay or any Pokemon that can uh, go Light Clay with Prank certain screens. It's just really, really strong. Get off an Iron Head. Do we get a flinch? Show it to me. Show it to me. No, but another Will was coming through. Yo, dude, that's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried about you guys. I'm not worried about you guys. I'm just wasting out your turns. I'm just wasting you guys out. I have two back end Pokemon. And we should have screens for the rest of the battle. Right? Light screen or reflect was just set up, so we still have seven more turns with that. And light screen should have three, maybe four. Possibility. Let's go check it out. Let's just see, make sure. Three. Yeah, so we pretty much should be rocking out here fine with the screens. I mean, I'll go for a Sucker Punch over on the Rotom. Like I said, I'm not proccing that policy. I won't do it. I will not have it. And we'll try to get a flinch off on the Rotom. Rotom's probably rocking the Citrus Berry, too. Let's see. What are you going to do? We still have uh, Garatina in the back. And we have Entei. And we have Entei, who is lovely. With Extreme Speed, we can get first turn priority. If we need it. But I don't think we're really going to need it. Sucker Punch can come out here. Do a little bit of damage. Here goes Steel Spike. He's getting defensive boost. And, um... Only thing that stinks is, uh... That defense boost is gonna help him out with the Entei. Yo, he got two of those. He got two of those. Okay. So he gets a little bit of bulkiness. We get a little bit of bulkiness from the screens. Iron Head comes out here. And this thing's just bulking on the defensive side. This thing's gonna drop Dark Pulse. And just take me out, please. Come on, man. Just take me out already. Buffets go away, so we're gonna be able to eat up this burn. Um, I guess we'll just try to hit with our Metagross. It's probably gonna double up into whatever Pokemon we have. I think we're gonna throw out Entei. And try to get off a Sacred Fire. This one's gonna be real close. I don't know how this one's gonna go down. That defensive boost is huge. I could protect this turn. I do not have protect on him. Okay, that's fine. Uh, take a fire. We're gonna we're gonna try to get this thing on a, on on a burn here. And if I can, we'll try to get a flinch off on this Rotom, which we haven't been able to get yet. We're over two with it. Shiny Entei looks dope. You got the little grayness to him, and he does outspeed, which is wonderful. That defensive boost is huge. He's probably gonna proc policy here. Is that correct? Oh my lord! And we get the burn, baby. We get the burn. That's huge. That's a huge burn, considering he was policy. Huge burn. Good work, Entei. EQ's gonna come through. Rotom's levitated. Smart Cookie, and he's gonna do some damage up on us. Entei, eat. Show, show your tanky, baby. Thank you, Entei. That burn's huge. That burn's honestly huge. Yeah, Hydro Pump's gonna come through. Can you eat that up? You should be fine. Light Screen and a uh, Soul Fest. Do eat. We get another turn with you, which is lovely. Okay. 
And now we get out Garatina. And I know Rotom's slowest here. I know 100% Rotom's slowest, but I want to know if Garatina is going to outspeed Solgaleo. So let me check the speed real quick. This is a good battle. It's a real good battle. Let's check speed here. And we do have Levitate, so we cannot drop an EQ on us. 127. And where is my boy? 167. Okay, Solgaleo might be faster than my Garatina. But I'm going to Sacred Fire here. Could double up. Or do I think he's going to protect? No, I think he's going to want to hit. I honestly think he's going to want to hit here. Yeah, he's going to want to hit here. So Sacred Fire comes through. Bang, doing some nice damage. We're going to take out the Solgaleo. No probs. Oh, we do outspeed. That is lovely. That is huge, baby. The Solgaleo, gone. Get it out my face, yo. That burn was perfect. That was perfect burn. Perfect burn there. Good work, Ante. Willow is going to come through here. Hey, yo. We special attacking. We're special attacking. Get this thing out of here. It's pretty much going to be GG. Pretty much going to wrap up this battle. Nice. Means is on a heater right now. Light screen is going to wear off, though, so don't like it. But again, we have speed advantage. I could snarl or I could extreme speed. It would be better. I'm going to go extreme speed here. Actually, he's defensive boost a lot, so I'm thinking I'm going to go into a, a snarl. Play it safe. And Shadow Bomb. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Snarl's gonna come out here. Just, get, just play it safe. That's really the safe play right there. And Shadow Ball might be able to pick up KO. Unless he's rocking out with a berry right now. There it is. He comes out. He gets his munchies going. Eats up his nice little yellow berry. We still should be fine. That uh, special attack drop was nice. Here goes this. Bang, doing some damage. Oh, just taking him out. Yo, Garantine is a beast. This form is insane. That item's giving him a huge attack boost. We pick up another win in battle number two. I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. Your boy's feeling real good right now. Real, real good right now. We're sitting at 2-0, hopping into our third and final battle. Going up against a really strong team. A really strong team, not even going to lie. He's got the Groudon alongside with the Venusaur, the Charizard, the Umbreon, the Incineroar, and Regilek. So... Pretty heavy meta team right here, but like I said, I'm feeling real good right now. <laughs> We're looking to go 3-0 here. Feeling good, looking good. Who should I lead? How should I go into this one? Um, I feel like he might try to go with that weather control. Ba -ba -ba, lead that grout on. I would love to get Regilecki out here, but at the same time, I don't think I can. Kind of want to go Grimmsnarl into uh, the Metagross again. Kind of digging that. Kind of, I'm just digging that. Because I can slow down. I can do a big slowdown. Drop ice if I want to. And have him prop out. Dude, that's actually a solid turn. I'm liking that turn. I'm going to bring Garatina because he's just thriving here. I think in the final spot, I want Lando. I just love Lando. And we haven't used him yet. I don't think we used him yet, right? We might have brought him in and just not thrown him out. But I'm liking this. I'm liking this right here. This one's going to be a good battle. This one's going to be a good one, but I can see us absolutely getting mauled on. <laughs> like, no question. But Grimstar is going to be able to thrive out here well, considering if he, say he leads the Venusaur team. Say he leads the Venusaur team. I can scary face it. Dynamax Metagross. Will Metagross still have speed at that point? I don't know. But I'm thinking I could scary face Dynamax, change weather, and get off a huge hit. Because Umbreon Charizard. I'm fine with it. Uh, I think I protect and set up a screen. Let's protect and set up a light screen. Right? It seems like a solid play. Get the bulkiness going. Maybe he Dynamaxes, maybe he procs my policy, and then I can scary face and roll out. Good play. Good be play. But yeah, definitely light screen gonna get out here. Protecting the screens, and I wonder what Umbreon's doing. Umbreon could. He is like very annoying. He's very pestering. He could snarl. I think that's why he kind of brought him out here. But he might yawn. He could yawn. I know he's rocking yawn. But what other moves do you rock? Maybe Moonlight. I think there's my screens and my protect, so we're gonna try to get rocking out here. He's gonna drop a heat wave. We're gonna block it up there. And I'm gonna scary face the Dynamax here. That might be play. So this thing shows that it's life orb. Foul play is gonna drop out here. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna Dynamax. I'm gonna Steel Spike. I'm gonna let this Charizard actually proc my policy. What do I do here? 
What do I do here? I might save my Dynamax. I don't know. What, the, what does Jeans want to do here? I don't think I'm going to scare your face over into the Charizard. But I'm thinking I want to get a special defense boost. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Dynamax this Bender again. Just digging it. I'm just digging it. I was thinking of saving it for Orlando, maybe later. But I'm, I'm, I'm just liking this. This could either be a good play or it could be a very rough play for us. Because I'm thinking he's going to proc my policy. So if I get this special defense boost, we should be thriving with him hitting our upper policy. So we're dropping a scary face. We're going to drop this thing stage or speed to stage two, minus two. I didn't think I would like scary face this much. I'm loving it. I'm loving this move. And now we outspeed. We get that big old boost. We get the big boost rolling out here. Special fence. I knew it wasn't doing too much damage, but again, I want that boost. So I can uh, eat up this policy shot. Here's foul play. We're eating. There goes my policy. Which is nice, lovely. Um, I should set up a reply. I really should. There's another foul play is going to take me out. Here goes the heat wave. And we're able to eat that up just fine. He gets a burn on Grimstar. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. Um, And what is this thing? Oh, that thing's leftovers. I was going to say, what is he doing? What item is he holding? Hmm. I think I take out the Charizard here. I think Charizard can go down to a Hailstorm. We set up a Reflect here so we get off another turn next one. Let's see. Let's just see what this thing's doing. So we're going to be able to outspeed the Charizard. Oh, we withdraw. Going to something that we can absolutely dump on. Round on. Okay. Yo, I'm digging this. He's going to go for weather here. And I'm changing it up right away. And I'm changing it up right, right away. And we're getting off a Reflect, which is very, very nice. So here goes our Reflect. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So we should be able to eat up another foul play, I'm thinking. And we're going to change up this weather right here, right now. Get this ice rolling. Our policy's proc. Maybe take out the on. We do. Awesome, 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 awesome. Bad swap by you, buddy. Now, now you got no weather. Now he has no weather. So he probably brought Venusaur in the back end, and he has no weather. Which I'm digging. That place coming out. We should be able to eat, right? Actually, no. I was going to say. Because it goes off of attack, and we have a policy proc now, so. It's just more damage. But I'm, I'm kind of fine with that. Maybe a little, little underwhelming Dynamax turn there. But I'm kind of fine with that, considering we got rid of Groudon, which is huge. We got rid of his weather control. So he definitely has Charizard Venusaur. Right? That's got to be his next two. I have screens up. I can go Garatina. Or I can go Lando. I'm going to save my Lando for the back. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Uh, hmm. I kind of do want to go Lando, but at the same time, I don't. Whatever Pokemon he throws out, if it's going to be Charizard, I'm going to uh, slow it down. I'm going to go Incineroar, so good thing I did go Garatina. So he didn't bring Venusaur? Okay. I'm fine with that. He does have Fake Out ready to go. I might protect. I think I might protect my Garatina. And rock out with a Sucker Punch. Protect this turn and Sucker Punch is not very effective all around. And I think I'm just gonna try to get off the scary face onto Um hmm. Umbreon. Let's do it to Umbreon. Slow this bad boy down. Oh, this thing probably inner focus, right? Will scary face work on a on an inner focus Pokemon? I don't I don't think it will. You see, like I remember little things like too late. A little too late. I guess protect. Hopefully he's faking out my uh Garatina. Fake out. Onto the Grimstorm. Okay, nice play. And I flinch, and he goes for a foul play. We block it up. We say, hey, we're blocking this one. Alright, cool. I'm decently fine with this turn. This Umbreon is kind of annoying. Charizard's gonna be his uh, Dynamax Pokemon. Probably just trying to wait out some screens. Um, I think I'm shooting Scary Face and try to slow down a lot of these Pokemon. It might be play right now. Because we're not doing a lot of damage with the burns going on. But I am going to actually Earth Power here. And I am going to Scary Face onto Incineroar. 
I'm gonna get more. Oh, pranks don't work. Pranks don't work. So I don't think we can scary face on anybody. <laughs> yo, I clicked the move and then I'm sitting there like, yo, this is not gonna work. What am I doing? Scary face, nothing. Dang it, jeans. EP coming out here. Can do a little bit. Can do a little bit. It's not stab, but it's doing some damage. Which is nice. Foul play's gonna come through. This one's looking tough for your boy because he still has Dynamax. We eat that up all day, though. It's huge. Parting shots. Hey! Hey! Come on, man. Why you gotta do me like that? Why you gotta do me like that? Why you gotta do that? Come on, man. That's my boy. Come on, man. Now he's in Cinnamore for the back. I don't like that. I don't like that. Now he has Incineroar for the back end, and I have Lando who is physical attacking. He rolls out with Charizard. Lovely little Charizard. Shiny form looks amazing. That like blackish gray tint with the with the red in it. Mm. God, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Taking some buffets. Umbreon's gonna get some HP back. And dude, Umbreon, Umbreon's nice. You've been seeing him a lot in the meta. I ain't gonna lie. I used him a couple times in a, in a few recent videos. He's really good. He's really good. Good Shadow Ball. Good Meteor. Hmm. I think what Shadow Ball. I'm gonna slow you down because I can do it to you. Because I can do it to you, buddy. You might actually protect. He does not. Okay, so we're gonna be able to get a slowdown here, which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice, and I think he's gonna take out both our Pokemon here. Tough battle here. Dang, dude. We haven't went 3-0 in good bit, but we're rocking out in our battles. We started off 2-0. Started off 2-0. This one's not looking good, so even 2-1 is a good video. 2-1 is a good video. 2-1 or 3-0 is a great video. 1-2 is a decent video. 0-3 oh, is a no video. No video. I, I don't think I, I went 0-3. Oh, I might have went 0-3 oh, like once or twice. And he's just Snarl, which is huge. But guys, legit... I record three videos or three battles. I do not take no cuts or anything. Well, I obviously I cut in between the videos, but I don't like even if I if I'm losing the battle, if I get smoked, I show you guys the videos how they are. That is the truth. That is the truth. I don't record like six videos and pick three out. It's just the first three battles. Like I warm up sometimes with the team and don't record with it, but once I hit that record button, it's the first three battles and I show you guys straight up what they are. But we're wasting our turns here. Just get off that uh that flare. Grimstar is gonna go down here. We are going to get out Lando. I think we did get off the scary face, which is nice. Air team is going to take some damage here. This one, this one's going to be... Hmm. I don't know. Lando can clutch this one up. I know he has an Intimidate in the back end, which you might swap into. But I'm definitely going to drop a Rock Slide. That's got to be the play. The Rock Slide's got to be the play. Or oh, I can fly and dip out. The plays. It could be a play. Could be a big play. I'm gonna Draco Meteor. You know what? I'm just gonna Rock Slide. Cause I think a Draco Meteor and a uh, Rock Slide can take out this Charizard. He does have Foul Play though. He does have Foul Play, and I'm physical attacking. I don't like this game. <laughs> I think we let Umbreon stay in here way too long. Way too long, man. Some Pokemon like Umbreon or like a support mod, if you leave him hanging in too long, they'll just smirk on you. And solid max guard from him. That was big max guard. Unless we get the flinch. If we get the flinch here from this Umbreon, that can be awesome. Be really good. That's what we need right now. Show it to me. Flinch him. We get crit, so show me the flinch. Show it to me. Show it to me. Draco Mirror comes out. It's blocked. Flinch him. Give me the flinch. Give me the flinch. Man, no flinch. He yawns. He yawns. Which was kind of smart. Hmm. Yeah, he's got this one. That yawn really did clutch up. Garatina should survive? It does not. 33 damage? God dang! God dang, man! That's GG's. That's GG's. Wild Flame doing damage. Oh, we were burned anyway, so. Right? Weren't we burned? Or was that last match? No, I don't think we were burned. Drop a, drop a rock slizzle. That's pretty much all I can do. Lando. That's easy, buddy. Going oh, out strong, though. Taking out Charizard. Wait, wait a minute. Now he's going to go to sleep here. Lando, once again. Rest easy, pal. Did some work. Didn't get yawned on. Maybe got that flinch. Could have won this one, but tough battle. I know it was a heavy meta team here. This guy really moonlighted. I'm going to put it safe. 
I'm gonna go up HP because I know he's going to sleep here. Night night. Night night, buddy. Well, I'm around just thriving here. Yawning up. Night night. <laughs> I was gonna say, if we can get rid of a. Uh... I was thinking if we can get rid of that Charizard and we weren't a sleeper, maybe an EQ could be really, really big for us. It could have been really, really big for us. Do I stay in? Do I stay in here? Maybe we can eat up these shots. Maybe an EQ can clutch up. We'll see. We'll see. We'll stay in. I'm not just going to give up that easy. Let's see what happens here. Maybe we should have. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> He's just going to body me one time and I'm going to be like, yeah, we should have ran. I said, I'm asleep. I knew that was coming. Maybe we can get a one-turn sleep. It happens sometimes. Foul play's gonna come out here. We'll be able to eat up a foul play, right? Yeah. We need this dude to miss. Four blitz. Ah! Uh, nope. No miss. I was gonna say, oh! Did it hit? And it hits. GG's. We go 2 and one for today's video. Awesome team we got to show off here. We got to show off Origin, Form, Garatina, and this whole team and get a winning record. One last shout out to my man Joe for dropping this team in my Instagram DMs. It seriously rocked out. We went 2-1 and one with it, and we got to show off a Pokemon that we haven't shown off before. Guys, if you want to leave me teams, go ahead over to my Instagram page. The name is right below my face cam. Type that in the search bar. Hit that follow button while you're over there, and DM me your guys' team. I try to get back to everybody as soon as I can. We got a decent amount of DMs over there, so I, I seriously try to get back to you guys. Don't just think I'm ignoring you guys over there because I like to keep up with it and try to get going and message everybody back. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spice the positivity today. And above all else, have yourself a wonderful day. Peace out, everybody.